Hello, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2018 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. With me today, I have two special guests, Dave Imming and Claudio Fayed, both from Emerson Automation Solutions. How are you doing today, Dave and Claudio? Doing great. Doing great, thank you. Got a question for you, Dave. Uh, you know, we, we, this is some significant news from Emerson at the ARC Forum. You released version 14 of Delta V, your DCS system. You know, what are some of the key strategic drivers uh, at the industry level behind that release? Well, they're part of our two strategic initiatives, which is project certainty and operational certainty. What we found in talking to our customers and end users is that there's a lot of lost opportunity, both on the CapEx side when they're doing projects and some of the inefficiencies that can occur in those situations, as well as during the operational phase of the plant and trying to get more out of their facilities. So Emerson's come up with these two broad strategies, project certainty and operational certainty, that address those needs. So do you see the latest, how do you see them uh, you know, guess addressing like, the key strategic drivers? Well, with version 14, we have a, a number of programs and there are actually 34 programs as part of that release. And for example, on the project certainty side, things like the Charms IO block, which takes our electronic marshalling and Charms technology to the next level by getting smaller packages of Charms even closer to the field devices and further reducing costs by as much as 60% over traditional uh, wiring. Uh, and in addition, smart commissioning can help tremendously during a project is another example by taking the time to commission a device from what used to take 140 minutes for every device down to just 10 minutes because we've automated all of the steps in between there. Those type of developments can have a big impact on a project. On the operational certainty side, two of the big developments, one was Delta V Live, which is the world's first HMI based totally on the HTML5 uh, standard. And this provides a brand new experience for operators that allows them to have, do video chat with experts, uh, have high powered uh, graphic elements or gems together with what we call snippets where they can combine areas of different graphics without any help from the engineer and it provides the engineers with an easier way to create that graphic environment with class-based editing and things like that. And then the, the other one is Delta V Mobile. So all that information, that richness of data that we have in the control system or safety system can be served up read-only to a person's mobile phone, depending if they're the plant manager wanting to see a dashboard, the safety engineer wanting to see how the status of their loops, or a process engineer to help the operations folks troubleshoot a problem. Okay. Question for you, Claudio. You know, the influence of IoT remains a strong driver in our industry, so what capabilities are you building out in that area to help your customers move from the vision to the reality? Yeah, well, so the IoT has been a very active uh, trend for us and it's been a very important part of our V14 um, rollout as well. As Dave said, I mean, when we're looking at IoT, we're looking to connectivity we are looking to efficient ways to move data. So we have uh, added the Charms IO block as an easier way to get data into our systems. We have also taken very specific care around our PK controller to actually embed an OPC UA server directly into the PK controller, allowing that data to be communicated to any other system in the plant, to Delta V or to any application directly in the cloud. Delta V Live features as the unique uh, or the first, what we believe to be the first HTML5 uh, HMI in the market. So it brings a lot of connectivity and functionality around IIoT as well. Mobile allows people to take that data and move through the plant uh, as much as they need. Now, the other thing when we think about IIoT and all the connectivity in there is actually cybersecurity. So as a big part of V14, we have actually changed the whole way we approach software to do it in a much secure way. And we believe that by the release of V14, we're going to have the first DCS in the market to be ISA secure, SSA level one certified. So with all of that, we uh, do intend to bring IoT to our customers. Now, we are actually trying to help close the technology gap as well as the resource gap. So we have also put a lot of investments on our uh, operational performance consulting service. So we have uh, put together different groups so they can actually provide the expertise to our customers to use our products. Okay, sounds great. Another question for you, Dave. 
Now, Emerson has certainly been active in acquisitions and alliances, examples like Miner and Prosys over the last 12 months. What's the long-term vision behind acquiring and adding these new capabilities? Well, I think a lot of this goes back to those two strategic drivers of project certainty and operational certainty. And what we find when we speak with our customers is that in many cases, their staffing is very lean to be competitive, and it makes it difficult for them to do much more than just continue operations and run the plant. For them to work on optimizing, it's really tough for them to find the time. And so by us building out our performance services capability with acquisitions such as these, and uh, other alliances that we're forming in the industry allows us to bring a complete solution to the customer from beginning to end and serve all their automation needs. Okay, and as a final question to Claudio, you know, you know, how are your customers in industry responding to these new capabilities? Well, the customers have been responding very well. I mean, we've been able to consistently gain market share. And if we take it back uh, even to the first years of Delta V, where we actually brought a lot of innovation by bringing commercial off-the-shelf equipment and actually pushing to open standards to improve connectivity around the system, and they later on innovating along electronic marshalling with charms, a and now when we put um, the whole Delta V V14 with all these different innovations around IIoT, cybersecurity, HTML5, uh, streamline work process like smart commissioning, we see a lot of that uh, being recognized by the market. Um, innovations like OPC way that will get the communications closer as well are being, every time we talk about it with our customers and show what's about to come on V14, we get a lot of excitement from them as well. Thank you very much, Claudio. Thank you very much, Dave. And again, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2018 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. Thank you very much. Have a great day.